Right, good morning and welcome everyone. Uh, it's now 10 a.m. so we'll start the meeting. This is the pre-bid meeting for the invitation for bid IFB 242470 Cross Creek Recreation Center. This meeting is being recorded. My name is Lisa Demina and I'm a senior buyer with the procurement department. Please be aware that questions will not be answered today. All questions must be submitted in writing through the bonfire portal. The deadline for questions will be 14 calendar days after the site visit per section 4.7 of the solicitation document. Please be aware that the cone of silence is in effect. Therefore, all questions must be submitted to me only. A site visit is scheduled for April 16th, 2024 at 10 a.m. The location for the site visit is 19025 Bassett Creek Drive, Tampa, Florida 33647. This information is contained within the solicitation document, Section 2.5 Pre-Bid Site Visit. As a reminder to everyone, online bids must be submitted through the Bonfire Portal by 2 p.m. on May 3rd, 2024, the scheduled close date. The county participants today include members from the Parks and Recreation Department to discuss the project and the Economic Development Office to discuss the goal participation. I will let each person from the county introduce themselves and I'll start with um, Newton. She can start as the, she's the project manager for this project. Hello everyone, this is Newton Kulkarni. I work with Architecture Services and I will be the PM and contact uh, for this project. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Hello, <clears throat> my name is Swati Bose. I'm the manager of architecture and engineering for Parks and Recreation Department. And uh, I will be a point of contact uh, together with Nuthan for this project. Nuthan is the project manager and I am uh, overseeing the program for Parks and Recreation Department. Newton, is there anyone else from the department that needs to introduce themselves or is it just you and Swati this morning? This, yeah, and then I believe just the two of us. OK, and then Deshaun, I'll have Deshaun introduce himself from economic development. Yes, good morning, everybody. My name is Deshaun Hines, Special Projects Coordinator or Diversity Compliance Officer from the Economic Development MBE and SBE Programs Department. I'll be the uh, one monitor and the goal compliance for the project. Great. Thank you all for introducing yourselves. Um, Newton, I'll turn it over to you. I don't see the <clears throat> the the architect of record. Uh, That's what I was going to say, Swati. We also have Robert Cox from uh, Harvard Jolly joining us. Maybe he wants to introduce himself. And I'm not sure if Lauren Campo is attending. We'll have to check that. She's the civil engineer of record. Yes. I'm I'm on. Hey, Lauren. Hello. OK. Yes, I'm on. This, this is Robert hey, Cox. I'm the hey, project Robert. manager. I'm the project manager with Harvard Jolly PVK Architects. OK, I'll uh, do the introduction for the project. Uh, OK, so this project is uh, a standalone project for a new recreation center, uh, recreation building basically for Parks and Recreation Department lo located in Bassett Creek Drive off of in the uh, northeast area of Hillsborough County. Uh, the building is approximately 16,000 square feet and it includes uh, a gymnasium. Uh, it is uh, the site is approximately, uh, I believe, five acres uh, and the work includes uh, 
access drives, uh, parking, and uh, mainly the building, and uh, uh, other site improvements that go along with this, uh, with the project. The, the, uh, some of the conditions that we want to alert the contractor to, uh, the bidders to, is the fact that it is located uh, adjacent to Pride Elementary School, and there are some special traffic concerns that have to be observed. Uh, they are uh, outlined in the special conditions. Uh, there are some peak hours for traffic uh, for the pickup and drop off of uh, the children into Pride Elementary. So Bassett Creek Drive, which is where your uh, main access is going to be into the site, uh, has a traffic situation during the peak hours, the morning and the afternoon peak hours. So you have to be careful about that and do maintenance of traffic as necessary. Uh, the whole site uh, will have to be fenced during uh, construction. And there's a portion of the site which contains the, a playground uh, and the playground will be available to for use by the school uh, during all through construction. Uh, the playground is accessed from the school through the school's line, Lions Den Drive. And the so we will have to fence uh, the area for this playground to keep the access from Lions Den. And there must be a six foot high solid fence all around it to maintain the privacy of the school and view of any children uh, who will be using the playground. Uh, and uh, there is, we have uh, the subsurface uh, conditions are shown in the, in the geotechnical report, which is included as part of the specifications. And uh, there are some subsurface debris that you may have to remove, and that's all outlined uh, in the special conditions and the geotechnical report. Uh, with uh, regard to any other special conditions, there are some uh, wetlands on the site. Uh, we bring your attention to that. And, uh, Oh, let me see if there was anything else. Uh, yes, we must bring to your attention the fact that what we have issued for the bids is 90% uh, documents, 90% complete construction documents. The, the documents are undergoing review right now. Uh, we're close to getting site plan approval, but uh, the building uh, plans are still under review. Uh, the contractor will be issued 100% drawings uh, after permits have been received before start of construction. There is a $100,000 allowance uh, in the bid, which is intended for refinements or any any for any changes from 90% to 100%. Uh, we are bringing this to your attention also. Uh, in addition to that, there's an allowance for permits. And then we also have our the allowance uh, for allowance work, which is a normal part of our construction contracts. Um, having said that, uh, if there's anything else that uh, the architect or the project manager of the civil engineer want to add, uh, I would ask them to do so. Mm -hmm. Newton, you want to add anything? Mm -hmm. No, only thing is we really don't have any add alternates to this project. Just wanted to share right. that. Um, and uh, you covered pretty much the you know, introduction and uh, uh, important points regarding traffic and all that. Yeah, and uh, I would like to ask if Lauren or Robert have anything uh, they want to add specifically for as a part of introduction to the project. I I don't have anything specific. Yeah, I, I do not have anything either. Uh, um, Squatty uh, covered the basic part. 
Okay. So Swati, if you're done um, covering everything for parks and recreation, um, I'll have economic development speak now to the participation goal. Yes. Thank you. Am I good? You're good to go. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, good morning again, everybody. My name is Deshaun Hines, uh, Special Project Coordinator with this or the uh, Diversity Compliance Officer. I'll be touching on the DMDWBE pre-bid uh, section of this, starting with the goal. So the there is a 20% goal on this project for the DMDWBE participation. Always ensure that the DMDWBE firms utilized have a current uh, have a current uh, certification with Hillsborough County or current certification. Uh, you can visit our vendor compliance site for a full updated and current list of the current firms that are listed. Uh, you can also call or email me and or my team and we'll be able to verify the status if you do have any questions in regards to this. Uh, failure to complete and submit all of the required documentation with the bid documents may result in the entire bid being rejected. Uh, the retired the required documents include the MBE one form, the letters of intent or agreements, mm -hmm. and uh, good faith efforts if needed. Sorry, was there a question? Oh, sorry. Okay, so when it comes to the MBE one form, all of the Hillsborough County or the certified firms that are MBE firms that will be used towards the goal participation must be listed on this form. Uh, this includes insurance and professional services firms that can also be utilized to meet the goal requirements as well. Uh, we can assist with the firms, uh, you know, to make sure that they have MB status, like I mentioned before. Reciprocals are allowed as long as the they are not on our list of graduates or denied reciprocals. Uh, you can find this list on our website. Uh, by going to our main page where we have a list of the graduated firms or those who are have already used a reciprocal and will be denied as well. The letters of intent must be with the submission of the MBE one form uh, and are needed for each of the MBEs that are listed on the MBE one form or like, a, like we mentioned, their status will be rejected and you run the risk of being denied. Uh, bidders are encouraged to provide their good faith efforts documentation, which should include the forms and backup documentation as well. Uh, if you have questions or need assistance, uh, we can answer those questions as well. Uh, also, last but not least, if you are a certified MBE with Hillsborough County yourself as the prime contractor, but you are a certified MBE with us, your status does not count towards your goal for the project because you are the prime contractor. Uh, the goal is only for subcontractors that you'll be utilizing on the project. Uh, we can go into more details on that if needed. Please just don't hesitate to reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to explain that. Uh, also, if you if the project is less than $20 million, you cannot use a tier two subcontractor as an MBE firm to have that their participation count towards the goal. So I want to make sure that I mentioned that as well, because there was a, a question about that on the previous contract. So other than that, uh, that is all I have for right now. Okay, thank you, Deshaun. I appreciate that. Um, if anyone else has anything they need to add, Swati Newton. Um, if not, we'll close the meeting. Uh, I'm good, thank you. You're good? Okay, Newton. Yes. Good. Okay, just as a reminder, we will not be answering any questions today. Any questions that any bidders have, they need to submit them in writing through the Bonfire Portal. OK, and with that, I'll, I will close the meeting and stop recording. I thank everyone for participating today and hope everyone has a great day. Thank you, Lisa. Right. <clears throat> thank Thanks, you. Lisa. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome.